no matter how much you want to help a person some people don't want to be helped and i put help in quotation marks because to me the word help is connotated with like a patient and a doctor like a doctor helps a patient today i see myself and every other person around me no matter what we're all going through as even playing field we're all helping each other no matter how different the things that different people are going through it's sort of the same it's all it's all connected in one Welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl, Lolo. And today I'm going to come to you all with a kind of more serious note than what you're used to seeing from me. Today I came to a realization that I, a lot of the times on my channel and on my social medias, if you follow me, like to promote a lot of motivational content. You can do it, change your mindset, change this, change that, you're almost there. This is part of your spiritual journey and growth. And a lot of the things that I feel very heavily resonating with me is simply acknowledging the fact that everything isn't always rainbow and sunshine. Sometimes it is okay and even necessary to make space for thoughts that aren't always positive. Things such as mental illnesses are difficult. Um, they're not easy. And sometimes getting over your hurdles isn't just as simple as changing your mindset or changing your morning routine or going outside once a day to walk. There are things that are happening present moment that I've really felt the emotions of. It's interesting because I sometimes feel the weight of the world, actually, the weight of the people maybe around me, the people on the other side of the world who I don't even know, who I, I can't put a name or face to, um, but I simply feel the pain that other people go through and it's something that I can't really describe how or why sometimes there are things that I haven't gone through personally but because I feel a collectivity in the feelings that other people or the world is feeling currently I get emotional simply off of other people's feelings if you relate to yourself as being a healer or being somebody who aids in the healing process of other people this is probably something that you could relate to one of my most popular videos that people could relate to on my channel was the feeling of not fitting in and feeling alone and i just wanted to acknowledge that um i'll definitely put a trigger warning at the beginning of the video because there's a lot of topics that i haven't really touched on yet because i didn't really know how to touch on them and some things definitely need to be made space for it's just everything isn't always happy i'm not even always happy and sometimes that other side needs to be shown to see that it's okay to show that so many people suffer in silence and I feel like it. there's more and more people who suffer in silence than there ever have and it feels like it continues to be that way. People think about harming themselves every, every day. Some people think about disappearing. That's real. Mental illness is real. Depression is real. Anxiety is real. You never know what somebody else is going through. You never know what the people in your family are going through. You never know what the friends around you are going through. Some people live life on a day-to-day -day basis suffering through some things and they simply just suffer in silence. But the least we can do is be kind individuals. I realized something recently about pain and the difference between pain and suffering. There's some people who believe that most of your life you're not in control of. You're just going with the wind and your path in life has already been established for you. On the other hand, 
there may be a belief that your life is solely based off of what you decide all the decisions in your life you make every single thing you do sets you up for what's going to happen next then there's a middle ground there's kind of like this 50 50 perception that i think more so suits me 50 percent of your life is just life happening it's the way the cookie crumbles and it's simply the way the circumstance is 50 percent of that other life is how you respond to situations in your life and you are in control of that other 50 percent based upon the decisions that you make. You can correlate this 50-50 to 50% pain and 50% suffering. Pain is something that we feel. Pain is gonna happen, it's inevitable. We can't control the pain that we feel in life emotionally. Things are gonna happen in life that we didn't plan for. Nothing caused it to happen. It was nobody's fault. It's simply what happens in our life. On the other hand, suffering is how we choose to react to our pain. Suffering is a choice. Suffering comes when we react to our pain with a lack of resiliency. It can be very difficult to experience pain but not experience suffering because a lot of the times we think that they're synonymous, but we choose suffering, we don't choose pain. And the way that we choose to suffer is a catalyst for the other suffering that we experience in our life. That's that other 50% that we are in control of, the mindset, the way that we talk to ourselves, and the actions that we display in our life. And even sometimes when you have a fairly easy life, you can have the blinders on to the people who are closest to you that are suffering because you're not suffering. So you just assume that other people aren't suffering. But when I got my assignment um, from God, which was to create a space for other people to open up about their pains and sufferings, a lot of that changed for me. Even though I don't experience much hardship in life just off of the way the cookie crumbles, the emotions that I feel sometimes that I can't explain where they come from or why they're here from people's emotions that I don't even know I'm feeling people's pains and sufferings from miles away people's faces and names that I don't even know the responsibility that I chose to help other people create space in their spiritual journey to heal involves taking on some of the emotions and some of the pain from people that I don't even know, don't even put a face or name to them because I don't, I've never seen them before. But for some reason, I feel these emotions that are like coming from nowhere. Sometimes in your life, when you find yourself in the same cycles, sometimes you find yourself always being somebody that people can um, cry on your shoulder or people can vent to you people can tell you their deepest darkest secrets and they're just simply comfortable with that if you've always been a person that people can people can do that it is evident in your life somewhere or another that god knows how much you can handle god knows your strength because sometimes it is hard taking on emotions of all the other people even if you're not super empathetic even though you're not going through things you feel like you're going through things i realized very early on that this channel isn't about me my life even isn't about me so many people are neglectful of being a kind person simply on top of that so many people are neglectful of just checking in on the people around them and it's totally understandable if you're just realizing that you're not in the mental headspace to take on other people's energy but if you are there becomes a time when we have to kind of like put our whatever we think is so important about our life aside for a minute and realize what's going on around us like there's hurt, there's pain, there's suffering, and we can do something about it. I feel like there's a lot more people who are kind of called to take on this role, but they don't answer the call because they're too in their own ego to open their hearts up. Our cups are already full, right? But we have to see that our cups are full. Even though you feel emotions, you 
keep on receiving spiritual guidance to allow your cup to be refilled so that whenever you're giving people refills here and there and there and there you don't run out of you don't run out of ammo yourself i believe there's a lot more people who have their cup full who have the the resources necessary to help contribute to less pain in the world but they don't because they're too worried about them their own self but i think the realization that our life isn't about us and even though every single person in this world's place they have a place that is valued important everybody is loved everybody even is on the same level there's nobody that's higher higher up or lower up or better or anything we all have an even playing field because of that other 50%, right? Because of that suffering that we can choose. However, the ego has to be destroyed in order to contribute to that. That calling can be painful. It's also a lot more rewarding than it is painful. I think one of the main signs of this calling actually is the feeling of being alone which is why i mentioned that video that so many people could relate to isolation is one of the main ways that god um wakes his people up to realize what their what their place is and why they're here i certainly don't know everything under the sun but one of the reasons why your life may look so different than the people's lives around you me included is because that's what isolation is meant to do you're not your life isn't supposed to look like everybody else's because if it did you wouldn't be in a position to contribute to the overall bigger picture when you are isolated god is trying to take that ego out of you a lot of the egotistical thinking involves the type of thinking that like your life is more important and even though i tell people how to reduce their amount of suffering while still coping with pain i myself choose to take on that suffering because i don't experience as much pain as other people and you know what that reminds me of it may sound crazy but you know what that reminds me of jesus even if jesus is not in your religion or spiritual practices it's more about the spiritual concept of this i wonder if like when jesus was born he knew that he was going to take on the pain i'm sorry the suffering of everybody so that people would experience less suffering he lived a near perfect life and i'm not saying that by any means my life is perfect but it looks a lot different than the lives around me. When I was in college, I was the only person out of my friend group of like eight or nine friends who both of my parents are still together and my parents paid for the half of my college that wasn't covered by tuitions. A lot of people just don't have those luxuries. My life doesn't look like how other people's lives are. The reason why I was able to make that video about feeling alone and not having any friends is because for a long time that is how I felt but that's all part of like what led up to this this current day and will lead up to the days ahead Jesus his whole life was isolated did Jesus have friends Jesus had disciples he had 12 of them can you really call them friends you can have people around you that are kind of like associates but maybe you don't really have friends when i was in grade school i had a really close friend who was contemplating disappearing back then it was one of my first encounters with depression and thoughts of harm so you know it was all really new to me we were friends for a couple of years in grade school we were pretty young for her to be um telling me the things that you know the things or, or the ways in which she would harm herself a lot of it i didn't understand i didn't understand because at that point i hadn't been through anything like that this may sound really really crazy but one of the things that I did 
was I kind of started thinking to myself the ways in which she would tell me that she thought about herself. I would repeat negative things inside of my head. I would repeat negative scenarios in my head. And what I was aiming to do was think of myself into a state of sadness so that I could understand what she was going through. So then I would be able to help her get out. We talked to each other every single day um, for a couple of years. For that amount of years, I learned a lot about myself. And of course, every case of depression, anxiety, or any other mental disorder is different because all of us have different minds. But that was also a um, experience that taught me that no matter how much you want to help a person, some people don't want to be helped. And I put help in quotation marks because to me, the word help is connotated with like a patient and a doctor, like a doctor helps a patient. Today, I see myself and every other person around me, no matter what we're all going through as even playing field, we're all helping each other. No matter how different the things that different people are going through, it's sort of the same it's all it's all connected in one you just never know what people are going through we shouldn't go around really comparing our situation or the severity of our situation um our pain to other people's pain because we don't know other people's pain things that you go through may look harder than other people go through because god knows your strength and god knows their strength and they are different strengths. That doesn't make anybody more weak. That doesn't make anybody better. It's simply the way the cookie crumbles. Whatever message that this video sent, I believe it had multiple messages, but just know that whatever you may be going through in life, there is somebody else going through something similar. You have a place in this world. There's a reason why you're here. I know it sounds so cliche, but your place is valued. Your opinion is valid. Your perception of life is valid. Anything that you value, is valuable there's kind of like this balance that is kind of weird other people don't validate our experiences other people don't live our life for us but at the same time we all feel the need to be loved by other human beings and sometimes when we don't feel like there's a space for created for that or to even be understood or heard, it's, it's really, really difficult, which is why I created this space. Overall, just remember to be a kind person and that kindness comes from seeing that there are other people in the world. For all, just continue to be a kind person. Continue to do your best to be a kind person to every single other human being. That's just the least that we can do. And I hope to see you in my next video. I'll definitely be in a better mood.